Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jacob Neville, uh, and this is a video on how to record sound in Pro Tools when screencasting, and oh boy, is this been one of the most frustrating journeys for me to get to, um, and find a solution, um, rather than plugging cables and doing weird loop-de-loos and alchemy and all that fun stuff, um, being able to find a virtual solution and use it effectively. Um, and it took me a while just because there really seemed to be no answers to how to do this um, until I came across this little program that a bunch of uh, Cubebase users um, were using for their screencast. And it is called, let me just get out of this, Voice Meter. Uh, this is a completely free piece of software that download. Um, one of the reasons that it just achieves so much is that it allows Windows to basically hear what your program is doing. Um, programs like Pro Tools and Cubase, uh, the reason that people use them is because they usually go right to the sound card. They completely bypass Windows, which is great um, in some cases because it gives you a safer environment to work and also creates a, a much more stable environment to create your music. Um, the problem is when you're doing screencasting, uh, most screencasting pro uh, programs um, will simply just say, listen to whatever Windows is doing. Um, and in this case, Windows isn't hearing anything because it's being completely bypassed. So what Voice Meter allows you to do is rewire everything and allow you to hear everything. And it sounds really complicated, but it's not. So let me just quickly walk you through hardware inputs. These are referring to anything like microphones um, or different interfaces that you would physically plug into your computer. So obviously I have my microphone and I selected it. Um, and for me, KS Delta worked. Um, based on whatever your system is, it might be different, but usually I've found that, and other users, users as well, have found that that has worked, oh, there we go, has worked the best. Um, and you have the option to do more um, the virtual input is basically just the virtual mixer. So when I pl push play in Pro Tools, you'll actually see this bar is going to be quite active. Um, and then the hardware out, this is going to be what your speakers are physically hearing. So this is rather important. So how you s set this all up, you're going to go to A1, and you're going to select your sound card, wherever it is. And again, KS worked for me. It may not for you. Try out the other ones if that is the case. But I would definitely start here. It, it seems to be... There we go. And as, you, as I click it, you notice it kind of fades out because, it's, it, again, it's rewiring everything virtually. Uh, the other thing that you want to set up is the virtual cable because this is actually what allows this connection to happen. Um, when you download Voice Meter, it may come with it. Um, but they also have a link to actually download the virtual cable separately, and I would. Um, and in the video description, I will have these download links and for the website, and you can check it out. Once that's done, um, whatever program you're using, Cubase or Pro Tools, you will go to Setup, and you're going to go, for me, it's Pro Tools, it's Playback Engine. Um, and when I originally had this set up, it was set to my sound card. What you're going to change it to is Voice Meter Virtual ASIO. I pushed OK, but I really didn't have to. Anyway, once that's done, the other thing that you need to do um, is you're going to go to your playback devices. And I'm going to move my... Sorry, I'm going to go back to playback devices, which is in your sound options down here in the corner. I move my window around. Um, and you'll notice that it's already created the input, and you're going to select this as the default device in playback and recording. And the way that you do that is you right-click, and it actually gives you the options to do all this fun stuff. So, when I push play, you should hear music. Here we go. And you'll see the sound is coming from the output and from the virtual input here. Because again, we're creating a virtual connection to Windows. So 
So, seriously, it is such a lifesaver. Now, in the sense of playback, you'll definitely notice it, uh, I, at least for me, because I'm usually using a lot of virtual instruments, uh, there's a bit of a... I think there's you can adjust some mixing and you can definitely adjust things here. Uh, you have a general equalization here. You can actually adjust how you want the sound to be heard here. Um, there's definitely some some options for you. Uh, also, when you download Voice Meter, I believe they have a, a more advanced version called Voice Meter Banana, which again just it just gives you more options, so you can be as finite as you choose. Um, let me just play back really quickly. And I can raise it. Lower it. Like so. And then again, you can adjust with the equalization here. Like so. So, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, it was a lifesaver for me, and it's definitely um, going to be a, one of the main ways that I use for making my videos. And again, when you're done, you can just simply uh, change back your sound settings, or you can keep it like this. Um, but again, when you're doing video casting or screen casting or whatever you're doing um, in that sort of field, um, really, this is the best way to go, I think. And yeah, I hope it, it helped, helped for you. Thank you again for watching this video. If you like what you see, please subscribe or share. Um, and thank you again. Have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you very much.